Reverend Insanity. Chapter 341 What Ferocity and Wickedness Tian Tai Mountain was the number one mountain in Central Continent. It was also called the Land of Inheritances and the Mountain of Sages. Its height was over 3,000 kilometers, it was imposing and had a grand presence. Its peak seemed to pierce through the skies and was hidden beyond the snowy fog and clouds. What was extremely unusual was there were not many craggy rocks on the mountain. Giant square-shaped rocks reclined upon each other, stretching from the base of the mountain towards the top, forming stairs. However, the scale of this stairs was so huge that there was an old legend about it in Central Continent, saying the stairway reached the realm of the immortals and was a bridge connecting heaven and earth. There were many touching, mysterious, tragic, and joyful stories revolving around Tian Tai Mountain. Tian Tai Mountain became the holy land of Central Continent's Gu Masters, a place closest to the immortal court. Many Gu Masters seeked for immortality but failed and before death, they would place their tombs here. At the same time, a large majority of them would also set up their inheritances here. Tian Tai Mountain hid countless inheritances, and only those fated could obtain them. Every year, after clouds and mist that covered it dispersed, Tian Tai Mountain would experience an enormous flow of people. Many inheritances would be inherited, and many new inheritances would be set up. However, this year was different. This year, the inheritance that opened at Tian Tai Mountain was Hu Immortal Blessed Land, which led to the appearance of Gu Immortals. After discussing, they made an alliance and locked this mountain, setting up a contest for their sex juniors. Right now, at the foot of Tian Tai Mountain, an intense battle between the youngsters was already reaching its end. Ten thousand cranes flew together and floated around Fang Zheng. Why Wu Sheng was panting and his clothes were in rags, he stared straight at Fang Zheng from within the layers of encirclement by the cranes. No, I haven't lost yet, I still have my trump card. Why Wu Sheng was not resigned to admit defeat after being at the losing end? If it was an ordinary situation, he would have conceded defeat already. But God knew how many elite disciples were fixing their gazes at this match. Why Wu Sheng was not representing only himself, but also the Heaven's Envy sect behind him. At the same time, others did not matter, but Fairy Bai Zia, whom he admired, was also watching the match. I cannot lose, with this thought, why Wu Sheng valiantly activated a goo in his aperture. He had always been hiding this goo, not using it even at the important sect examination. Once this goo was activated, it created a colorless breeze. The light breeze revolved around Wai Wu Sheng's body, moving his clothes and caressing his hair. However, Fang Zheng looked like he was facing a great enemy. It was because Lord Sky Crane had already reminded him loudly, Not good, this kid actually has injury wind goo. Defend, defend with all your might, this goo can whip up injury wind. It looks light and harmless, but it is extremely terrifying. Heaven's Envy Sex Jr. was not weak indeed. This seems to be his trump card. Injury Wind Blue Fang Zheng completely gave up on attacking and used all his strength to defend. Injury Wind looked gentle, but wherever it blew, the cranes cried out in pain. Countless Ironbeak flying cranes crashed down to the ground like their wings were broken. Injury Wind Blue on Fang Zheng's body the defensive light around his body continuously flickered. Beads of sweat dripped from Fang Zheng's forehead, he gritted his teeth and transferred the primeval essence from his aperture to his defensive goo endlessly. The stalemate lasted a while, finally Wai Wu Sheng sighed inwardly and stopped activating injury wind goo. It was not that he did not want to continue the fight, but his aperture was already closed to drying up. Gu Masters all had a common point, that was when primeval essence was consumed, the Gu Masters fighting strength would sharply decrease. Rank 1 to rank 5 Gu Masters all suffered from the restraints of primeval essence. Only when they went beyond mortal and reached the realm of immortals, becoming a Gu Immortal, would they be able to have endless primeval essence. I lost. Why Wu Shang's gaze was dark. He had calculated it clearly, 
his primeval essence was exhausted, and so he did not have any more strength to battle. However, Fang Zheng had been commanding flying cranes to battle from the start. His primeval essence consumption was relatively less, and was sure to have some more primeval essence left. Brother Y is worthy to be Heaven's Envy Sex Elite Disciple, possessing such unusual and incisive methods. I have increased my knowledge and my horizons have been broadened. My primeval essence has also almost been exhausted by brother. How about we consider this spar as a draw? Fang Zheng smiled. What? Why Wu Shang was stunned? What was Fang Zheng saying? He was very clear of his own situation. How could he have a goo that could exhaust Fang Zheng's primeval essence? However, Wai Wu Sheng immediately realized Fang Zheng was telling a lie. Fang Zhen is giving me a way out of this situation. After understanding Fang Zheng's plan, there was a complex expression on Wai Wu Sheng's face. The disciples of every great sect could not casually make their moves, because they represented not only themselves, but also the sect behind them. Moreover, with Fairy Bai Zia at the scene, Wai Wu Sheng could truly not afford to lose this battle. Since Fang Zheng gave him a way out, Wai Wu Sheng quickly cupped his fists towards Fang Zheng after hesitating for a moment. Brother Fang is a young hero, I am filled with admiration. Immortal Crane sect indeed has deep foundations for being able to teach a figure like Brother. I have benefited from this spar and like Brother Fang said, we will consider this match a draw. Wai Wu Shang said so on the surface, but in truth, he secretly transmitted to Fang Zheng. Fang Zheng, I, Wai Wu Shang, shall remember your leniency and will definitely repay it in the future. However, Fairy Bai Zia is my love, I will not concede on this. I will train harder and spar with you again in the future. Fang Zheng smiled, he nodded on the surface, but was inwardly feeling a headache. Wai Wu Sheng continued with the secret communication. Fang Zheng, you need to be careful. Fairy Bai Zia has many admirers, not just me. Even with your formidable strength, you will still have four competitors. They are Heaven River Chen Da Zhang, Rising Purple Lightning Gu Ting, Nine Death Sorrowful Wind Tang Ru Kai and Tigress Zhao Shu Yi. You are so close with Fairy Bai Zia, they will definitely come find trouble for you. You better not lose. Fang Zheng's gaze could not help but flicker at the mention of these four famous names, feeling that his headache had become worse. As for Lord Sky Crane, he was laughing heartily in his mind. Sure enough, like Wai Wu Shang said, three days later, disciples of ancient Soul sect arrived at Tian Tai Mountain. Leading them was Gu Ting, and after knowing of the matter between Fairy Bai Zia and Fang Zheng, he immediately sent a challenge. To avoid this unexpected calamity, Fang Zheng chose to avoid the fight. Gu Ting naturally was not willing to leave the matter at that. He would visit Fang Zheng's residing cave every day and provoke him to a fight. He continued this for seven days in a row. His words became more vulgar as time passed. Immortal Crane Sect's other disciples were unsatisfied and went to find him, but were defeated. Ancient Soul Sect's momentum rose greatly, and at the eighth day, everyone went to block Fang Zheng's cave entrance and cursed endlessly. Fang Zheng, you ostrich, still not coming out? Fang Zheng, you are hiding now, but can you hide for your entire life? Obediently stop getting in contact with Fairy Bai Zia and Big Brother Gu Ting will magnanimously spare you. Immortal Crane Sect is merely so, they actually taught such cowardly disciple. At the mention of Immortal Crane Sect, Fang Zheng who was in the cave let out a sigh and helplessly walked out of the cave. He could endure the curses directed towards him. However, once it involved his master, his temperament changed. Disciple needed to uphold the prestige of their masters, this was an important value of Central Continent. If he did not uphold it, then when he returned to Fei He Mountain later, he would be impeached and even receive punishment. Lord Sky Crane made a loud din inside him. Gahaha! Fang Zheng, my disciple, do you understand now? What I have been telling you from the start is not wrong, right? Blindly enduring will let others misunderstand and bully you. 
In this world, the more harmless and cowardly you appear, the more people will appear that will want to bully you. Fight, defeat this Gu Ting, shut the mouth of these people from ancient soul sect, improve your reputation. Psi, one has to compromise in this world, I really feel it now. I can only fight. Fang Zhang gained an understanding with this event. Gu Ting, come, let's fight. At the similar time as the fight between Fang Zhang and Gu Ting, far away at southern borders San Cha Mountain, a battle ended. The battlefield was a mess. Blood all over the ground, smashed rocks, destroyed trees and craters all around. Fang Yuan stood proud on the battlefield while his opponent Fei Lai was kneeling on the ground, kowtowing and begging for forgiveness. Lord Fang Zheng, please be magnanimous and spare me. Fei Lai continuously kowtowed while begging bitterly. He had a cultivation of rank 4 middle stage and was also a strength path Gu Master. He had been full of spirits, but now his body was soaked with blood, his right arm broken and his two legs fractured cutting out an extremely sorry figure. Since you are begging for forgiveness, then first hand over your expend strength Gu, and I shall consider whether to accept it or not. Fang Yuan looked down upon Fei Lai, cold light bursting out of his eyes. Fei Lai hesitated before handing over expend strength Gu. This Gu was his vital Gu, and also his core Gu. It made his enemies waste more strength when making any movements, doubling the expenditure of their stamina. Handing over the expend strength Gu, Fei Lai lost his vital Gu and suffered a heavy backlash, spurting out huge mouthfuls of blood. Fang Yuan's gaze flashed as he accepted expend strength Gu. I have considered, expend strength Gu is not enough to exchange for your life. Fei Lai's eyes opened wide, and not considering the critical state of his body, he shouted, Lord Fang Zheng, this is my most precious Gu. Bam. With a shift of Fang Yuan's mind, beast phantoms directly pounced forward and turned Fei Lai into minced meat. Pauper. Fang Yuan looked at the disfigured corpse below him and sneered. Then his gaze swept through the battlefield. The spectators were not few, but all of them subconsciously chose to avoid Fang Yuan's gaze. Fang Yuan laughed loudly. What's wrong? Sky Tiger Zhu Sansi isn't here? You guys tell her, we are both strength path Gu Masters. Three days later, I will come visit her and exchange pointers. The moment these words came out, it caused an uproar. Little Beast King was too violent. A few days ago, he had killed tyrant Heng Mei, and at this battle, Fei Lai begged him for forgiveness, but he did not let him go and smashed him into minced meat. Now, he was going to challenge Sky Tiger Zhu Sansi. What ferocity and wickedness was this? Chapter 342 Bio What? The little beast king is challenging me. When she first heard the news, Zhu Sansi refused to believe it. She was thinking. She had no relationship with the black and white demons, she had never offended them, not even meeting them before. How could they come to find trouble with her for no reason? But soon, she investigated and realized this was true. How can this be? What is this little beast king's brain made of? The Three Kings' inheritance is opening in a few days, he still has the mood to challenge me. What did I do to you? Why are you messing with me like this? Zhu Sansi felt helpless and annoyed. Is it simply because we are both on the strength path, thus he wants to compare who is stronger? Sigh, this maniac. Zhu Sansi thought about it thoroughly, finally classifying Fang Yuan as a lunatic, unable to be understood by a normal human. A few months ago, she had heard of the reputation of the black and white demons. As the past, the two of them got more famous as rumors spread further and wider. They are the publicly recognized new rising stars of the demonic path. Initially, Zhu Sansi did not mind it, Fang Yuan and Hu Mei Er had a conflict, and she was gloating over it. But now, she could not laugh anymore. After the black and white demons came to Sancha Mountain, they not only did not keep a low profile, but even create huge problems. Especially that little beast king, he does things with no discretions, unreasonable and ruthless, causing people to feel threatened. Tyrant Heng Mei from Ten Tyrants visited him out of goodwill, but was killed. Fei Lai already begged for mercy, 
but Fang Yuan did not let him off, beating him to a pulp into meat paste. The thing is, those were rank 4 Gu Masters, with middle stage cultivation, but Little Beast King used initial stage cultivation to kill these two outrightly. Such battle strength bred fear in people's hearts. Zhu Sansi also had rank 4 middle stage cultivation, she feels that her strength was about the same as Tyrant Hang Mei and Fei Lai. Now that Fang Yuan was challenging her, her heart sank as she felt a great threat, even a trace of fear that she had to admit. This Fang Zhang is too cruel and unreasonable. He is trying to step on us, these seniors' corpses to strengthen his reputation. Fei Lai was the sacrifice for his ambitions. Now it is my turn. Such arrogant acts, Zhu Sanxi had done it when she was young. But back then, she only killed rank 3 Gu Masters, she was nowhere near Fang Yuan's ruthlessness, choosing Gu Masters at a higher stage than him to battle. To speak the truth, Zhu Sanxi did not want to battle with this lunatic Fang Yuan. But unfortunately, her godfather was in closed cultivation refining a goo recently. Now that Fang Yuan publicly challenged her, she had to accept it. In this world, people often had no choice. If she, Zhu Sanxi, did not accept the challenge, the reputation that she had built up all these years would go down the drain. Zhu Sanxi has been in the demonic path for many years. She had a clear understanding of this world's cruelty. This was a difficult world to live in, for that chance of survival, all the different species fight it out with their lives. The kinder and weaker you show yourself, not only would you not gain peace, but you would even get yourself into greater danger, and attract the greed of many. Demonic path Gu masters who got to Zhu Sanxi's height have surely killed many people, and offended even more people. The world was like this, if you did not kill people, and offend people. How could you gain the resources needed to advance your cultivation? How could you gain fame from battle results? To defend her reputation, Zhu Sanxi quickly agreed to Fang Yuan's challenge. The two decided on a wide valley as the location for their battle. Three days later, Zhu Sanxi saw Fang Yuan for the first time. She was shocked. Fang Yuan did not have the fierce appearance in her imagination, in fact he looked rather gentlemanly, without any boorish features, his eyes were dark like an abyss, extremely peaceful. Sky Tiger, I've heard of you, you offended a higher up in your clan, and was exiled. You secretly worked hard, taking a risk to kill beast kings, and using the goo worms you gained to arm yourself, finally becoming an expert slowly and steadily. After that, you went back and killed the numerous elders that framed you in the past. To be honest, I admire you quite a bit. Fang Yuan spoke. Such a respectful tone caused people to listen in shock. Why did he change his nature, speaking so politely? Does he have an interest in Sky Tiger? To be fair, although Sky Tiger looks ordinary, she has the proper curves, her body is great, she is indeed a beauty. HMPH, is Little Beast King that kind of person? He disregarded even who may err. He is ruthless and cold-blooded, a fearsome person. I've learned from these few days, you guys should not place any hopes on him. As the people discussed, Zhu Sansi replied Fang Yuan. I'm flattered. Little Beast King, the name of the black and white demons is renowned in this area. Fang Yuan smiled lightly. I cultivate the strength path, you are the same. If we spar, it will help both of us learn more. Before this, I have sparred with Tyrant Hang Mei and Fei Lai. These two were great and gave me quite an experience. But such a sparring method is boring to me now. This time, why don't we change the sparring method? Zhu Sansi listened and raised her eyebrows. Oh, what idea do you have? I'll listen to it. Simple, I'll stand here and let you hit me. After you finish, I'll hit you. Isn't that great and simple, it will end faster too. How about this, since you are a woman, I'll give you three hits after that, I will only retaliate with one hit. Fang Yuan smiled as he said. Sparring like that? Zhu Sansi's eyes glowed, attracted to Fang Yuan's proposal. Fang Yuan staying still and letting her do three hits, such a suggestion was too alluring. All right, let's do that. Zhu Sensi considered it through, agreeing. Please. 
Fang Yuan smiled lightly, staying still as he stretched out his right palm. Zhu Sanxi's eyes shone with brilliance as her killing intent surged, shouting, First move. Several goo worms were activated at the same time in her aperture. Her slim arms burst out in a bright light, turning into two tiger claws. The tiger claws tore through the sky, hitting Fang Yuan harshly. Fang Yuan vomited a mouthful of blood, flying out like a cannonball, landing on a huge rock behind him. Bam! There was a loud crash as the rock exploded, rock shrapnels flying everywhere. Good hit! Fang Yuan laughed loudly, standing up. His chest had an obvious concavity, at least four ribs were broken. Not only that, Fang Yuan felt his intestines were bleeding too. As the intense pain assaulted him, Fang Yuan endured it as his nerves were undergoing a huge trial. Zhu Sanxi's expression changed. That's right, Fang Zhang made a good plan. The more injured he got, the greater the strength he can use. Then do I attack harder or softer now? The harder she hits, the more injured Fang Yuan gets and the higher his battle strength gets. If she hit softer, when it is his turn, she would be able to defend more easily. No, I should use all my strength to attack. Kill him in three hits. Zhu Sanxi considered as she made up her mind. Second move. She shouted and activated her goo worm as her body expanded over twice her original size, becoming a giant. The hair on her body became longer, becoming brownish-yellow tiger fur. Her eyes became tiger eyes and her teeth grew out of her mouth, becoming fangs. On her forehead, there was a symbol. Her strength more than doubled. As she pounced on Fang Yuan, a beast phantom appeared behind her body. A fierce tiger growling towards the heavens, giving off an imposing aura. Its body was covered in brownish-yellow fur, and it had a tough muscular body. Most importantly, there was a pair of wings on its back. A tiger with wings. A fierce tiger that has wings. That means it is a bio. Tiger was the king of the hundred beasts. And bio is a flying tiger, the king among the tigers. Three hounds and one malasser, five tigers and one bio. The strength of a bio was five times of a tiger. The beast phantom of a bio can suppress three to four of Fang Yuan's ordinary beast phantoms. Zhu Sanxi's strength had already more than doubled, but now she unleashed the strength of a bio. Under this huge force, Fang Yuan flew away like a shooting star, landing several hundred steps away, crashing on a mountain wall. Bam! The entire mountain valley shook intensely. The mountain rocks collapsed, engulfing Fang Yuan. Such strength. Is Fang Zheng dead? No, not yet, his aura is still around. The collapsed rocks were pushed away. Fang Yuan walked out, his arms were completely crippled, his iron bones were broken, his steel tendons were mushed, and his bronze skin was torn. Every step he walked, his body felt weak and was on the brink of collapsing. The Fang Yuan now could definitely unleash eight beast phantoms. But these injuries were recovering. Fang Yuan activated the self-reliance goo, the healing effect now had far surpassed the flesh bone goo. Third move, Zhu Sanxi was anxious, not wanting to give Fang Yuan time to recover. A pair of wings grew out of her back. This large pair of wings was brownish yellow in color, as it flapped, Zhu Sanxi flew to the sky. She flew higher and higher, until she was about one kilometer in the sky, before she dived down. She had calculated it long ago. This was the limit to how high she could go. Any higher, and she would get injured from the impact after diving down. As everyone watched nervously, Zhu Sanxi charged towards Fang Yun. The image of a bio appeared again. This time, it did not appear above her body, but directly overlapped her actual body. This moment, she seemed to have become a true sky tiger. With this move, you are finished. Zhu Sanxi growled as her killing intent surged. Activating two bio phantoms in a row caused her to pay a huge price. This was her strongest power, her strongest attack. She was confident of killing Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan looked up at her, activating Golden Shield Goo. But Golden Shield Goo was rank 3, could it block Zhu Sanxi's strongest attack? Chapter 343 Shameless and Despicable 
the lush valley enlarged rapidly in Zhu Sansi's eyes. Wind blew past and buzzed intensely on her ears. Zhu Sansi's face that had completely changed looked down at Fang Yuan with her tiger eyes, the corner of her lips already curled up into a bloodthirsty smile. She could almost see Little Beast King being flattened into minced meat by her unprecedentedly fierce attack. There is no way he can survive such an impact. When she saw Fang Yuan activating Golden Shield Goo and his body covered by the golden light, she could not help but sneer inwardly. Rank 3 Golden Shield Goo? Even if it was the advanced Rank 4 Golden Bell Shield, it would not be able to defend against my attack. The intensity of the battles between Rank 4 Goo Masters was very high and was not something the defense of a Rank 3 Goo could match. This time, I will let these juniors know what happens when they act so arrogantly. Zhu Sansi's killing intent was already so overwhelming that it was threatening to burst out. Finished, Fang Zheng is finished this time. When they sensed the fierce attack of Zhu Sansi, many of the spectators shouted out. This is good, Little Beast King had been too rampant, he should be taught a lesson. Many righteous Gu Masters were feeling happy at this scene. Looks like Little Beast King wants to rely on Golden Shield Gu to resist this attack. That is really too naive. No, maybe he will activate Beast Phantom. The combined strength of eight Beast Phantoms is not a small matter. But if he does that, he would be breaking the agreement they made earlier. As long as he attacks, he will be breaking the agreement and it will mean his loss. The spectators, whether they were of righteous path or demonic path, all wished for Fang Yuan to lose this battle. Fang Yuan's activities these days brought them an enormous mental pressure. No, there is still an influencing factor on the battlefield by Ning Bing. Whoosh, 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 several figures suddenly moved to the entrance of the valley and silently surrounded Bai Ningbing. These people tacitly took the same measure. If Bai Ningbing moved to save Fang Yuan, they would stop her. The terrifying thing about the black and white demons was the close cooperation between these two rank four Gu masters. Now everything bowed ill for Little Beast King after they restrained Bai Ningbing. If Little Beast King fell, then only Bai Ningbing would be left, and it would not be that threatening. Fang Yuan's gaze was indifferent as he looked up at Zhu Sansi, in the depths of his pupils was a trace of mockery. Zhu Sansi had yet to collide against him, but a formless wind pressure was already pressing towards him. From another side, it showed the tremendous strength of the imminent collision. The phantom of Bio enveloped Zhu Sansi, the wings on her back flapped continuously as her speed increased more and more and closed towards the ground. Soon, this force would collide against Fang Yuan. Suddenly, Fang Yuan's eyes flashed with a bright light and he activated a Gu. Horizontal charge Gu. He suddenly charged towards the left and then turned around. Vertical crash Gu. He charged a hundred steps away. Little Beast King Yu. Zhu Sensi's anger flared up when she saw Fang Yuan suddenly running away, she opened her eyes so wide that the corners were about to rip. She did her best to control her descent, but her speed was too fast, and she could only let Fang Yuan run out of her attack range. Seeing Fang Yuan suddenly retreat, the spectators had yet to react when the next moment, there was an enormous explosion like a bolt from the blue. Boom, Zhu Sansi fiercely collided onto the ground. In that instant, the spectators around the valley could sense the ground under them shaking. Crushed stones shot out everywhere. The collision created a strong wind pressure that immediately shot out towards all direction. Everywhere the wind pressure reached, stones, trees, and plants were all uprooted and moved with it. The smoke and dust whirled around, the enormous destructive force instantly formed a 30 meters huge round crater. Everyone's heart pulsed rapidly in fear, and just as they were feeling moved about this destructive force, Fang Yuan suddenly changed direction and charged into the smoke. Horizontal charge Gu, vertical crash Gu. He used the two Gu one after another and rapidly charged towards Sky Tiger Zhu Sansi not caring about the pain from the cold wind pressure and the crushed stones. Zhu Sansi was in the center of the huge crater. 
her body covered in dirt from the collision and was cutting out a sorry figure. Her ears kept on buzzing and a burst of dizziness attacked her mind. The fierce bio-phantom had already dispersed, her incomparably powerful bearing from just before was no longer there. Bitter strength goo, all-out effort goo. Fang Yuan hurried, an ominous glint shot out from his eyes. Howl, howl, howl. Eight beasts roared one after another. Boar, brown bear, crocodile, green bull, horse, stone turtle, white elephant, and black python. Eight phantoms made their loud debut in the air above Fang Yuan. Strength Kai Gu. Yellow gold primeval essence severely depleted as it poured into strength Kai Gu, creating a huge formless strength Kai. This strength Kai attached itself to the eight beast phantoms. The beast phantoms turned solid and life like one after another. With a shift of Fang Yuan's mind, the eight beast phantoms charged towards the crater. Zhu Sanxi's body was shaking, and she was just about to pull out her legs from the ground when she suddenly heard beast roars from above her. She immediately raised her head, and all she saw was darkness. Countless attacks rained down on her like a windstorm. Bam, bam, bam. The tragic sounds of the battle echoed from the huge crater. Zhu Sanxi did her best to struggle and resist, after all she was a rank 4 Gu master and had strong foundations. However, not even three minutes later, the sounds of battle stopped. Five out of eight phantoms remained and were shortly recalled by Fang Yuan. And Zhu Sanxi, as the loser, had a mournful end. Pieces of her corpse were littered over the crater, her blood sprayed all over the ground and dyed the white bone pieces. There were also the brain matter, hair, and so on. The smoke and dust dispersed, the whole battlefield became clear. When they saw such an outcome, the spectators all burst out in an uproar. Sky Tiger is dead, another rank 4 Gu Master has been killed by Little Beast King. Didn't Little Beast King make an agreement with Zhu Sanxi? He said he would not not move, but he ended up running. This battle should be Little Beast King's loss because he went back against the battle agreement he himself set. The valley was a scene of commotion as the spectators commented and discussed. They were stunned and furious, showing intense resentment and disdain towards Fang Yuan's shameless behavior. Bai Ning Bing laughed heartily and her indifferent gaze swept through the battlefield. She had already expected this outcome. The so-called agreement was only a trap Fang Yuan set. What kind of person was Fang Yuan? She, Bai Ningbing, was the person who knew it the best. The Gu masters that were surrounding Bai Ningbing all tacitly retreated at the same time. Fang Yuan heard the rebukes, disdain and ridicule of the many Gu masters around the valley, but he stood there with his hands behind his back and his face tranquil. His eyes squinted as if he was enjoying this. In his eyes, this so-called sincerity was merely people fearing deception, thus hoping and requesting others to follow their standards. Walking the demonic path, one should have no restraints and taboos. So what if he went against the agreement? So what if he did not keep his promise? As long as one had enough strength, they could do whatever they liked. What could others disdain and ridicule do? These powerless and hollow words only manifested the helplessness of the weak. Could it hurt a single hair of his? Haha. <laughs> this Zhu Sanxi is really stupid. She was actually bound by reputation and came running over to accept my challenge. Fang Yuan was in contempt of this. Reputation is meant to be made use of, it is only a tool. But in this world, there are so many people who treats fame more importantly than their lives. Ha <laughs> ha. Really laughable. Of course, I did use some tricks in this match. Zhu Sanxi was different from Tyrant Hang Mei and Fei Lai. She possessed flying type Gu, and she could just fly to a high altitude if the situation turned bad, and Fang Yuan would have no way to deal with her. Thus, Fang Yuan raised the agreement at the start. His goal was to restrain Zhu Sanxi's movement ability. When he mentioned the condition of three strikes, he had already not planned to abide by it. Zhu Sanxi fell step by step into Fang Yuan's trap, and Fang Yuan's injuries enticed her to continually advance forward. After the second strike, Fang Yuan intentionally healed himself in front of her. 
Zhu Sanxi was not willing to see her efforts go to waste and under her worry, without thinking much, she flew to the sky choosing to use her strongest attack. However, in the end, Fang Yuan instead borrowed her strength to weaken her greatly by using little effort, then quickly went in to attack and killed her. If it was truly an upright and frank battle, Zhu Sanxi could fly with her wings and would absolutely not be so easily killed by Fang Yuan. Little Beast King, you really are shameless and despicable. You went back against the agreement, you are the loser in this match. Many spectators started shouting and yelling, saying similar words. That's right, I admit defeat, so what? Fang Yuan scoffed and replied loudly. His voice reverberated in the valley. The clamorous din suddenly quietened down. That's right, so what if he lost? Look at the winner, she has turned into a puddle of blood and flesh, even her own father won't be able to recognize her. What meaning is there in such an outcome? After reacting to this point, the noises in the valley suddenly rose an octave much more violent than before. Fang Yuan calmly admitted his defeat and even more showed his shamelessness, causing the spectators to feel indignant and furious. Fang Yuan threw his head back and laughed heartily. Since you guys are feeling such anger, do you want to take revenge for Zhu Sanxi? I didn't know she had such good relationships. Come, 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 all of you who wants to take revenge come at me together. The fierce criticism from the spectators suddenly quietened down and the surroundings turned silent in a moment. Although Fang Yuan pulled a fast one and killed Zhu Sanxi, Zhu Sanxi was a famous rank 4 middle stage figure in the end, and it was impossible for her to lack strength after the three attacks. However, she was also turned into meat paste by Fang Yuan, displaying Fang Yuan's formidable fighting strength once more. Fang Yuan defeated three rank 4 middle stage experts in a row with his rank 4 initial stage cultivation. Such strength, other than a few individuals who would not feel fear. Moreover, the heavier the injuries Fang Yuan suffered, the stronger his strength became. Fang Yuan arrogantly challenged them, but no one stood up. Demonic Gu masters were mutually restrained and held suspicions towards each other. Almost every one of them was a loner. No one stood out for Zhu Sanxi. On the contrary, some members of Righteous Path wanted to eradicate this devil Fang Yuan, but they could not easily move at this moment. Why? Because once they stood up, it would become taking revenge for Zhu Sanxi. And Zhu Sanxi was a demonic figure. Is there no one that wants to take revenge for her? Is there or not? Fang Yuan again asked loudly. Countless spectators' expression turned gloomy. Some looked at each other, but no one replied. If there is no one, I am leaving. Fang Yuan raised his brows and walked a few steps before he stopped. I am really leaving. Still, no one spoke. Fang Yuan's dominance suppressed everyone present. Such a rampant bearing made many rank four experts indignant. Many people became restless but still restrained themselves in the end. Ha ha ha, Fang Yuan raised his head towards the sky and laughed loudly as he walked away with large strides, soon leaving the battlefield. Chapter 344 Talented Without Virtue Big Brother Lai, you need to make a move, Hu Mei Er lied back on Lai Zion's chest and spoke coquettishly. Lai Zion was short and fat. He had a round nose, large eyes and wide forehead, his hair also let out a greasy shine. Right now, one of his short and rough hand was on Hu Mei Er's delicate little waist while the other hand was on her leg. Lai Zion was a rank 4 upper stage Gu master. However, he rarely fought, making a living by doing business and was a famous unscrupulous merchant of the demonic path, having wide connections. He embraced Hu Mei Er and said with a lecherous smile, Mei Er, your body feels like there are no bones with skin as delicate as jade. I haven't seen you for a few days and you have become more beautiful. Hu Mei Er rolled her eyes and said in a displeased tone, Big Brother Lai, I am trying to talk to you. That black and white twin demons offended me. I am already yours. You must seek justice for me. Okay, okay, Lai Zion half-heartedly spoke while his ten fingers wandered over Hu Mei Er's body. 
Hu Mei Er's breathing became rough and her face flushed red. Along with her watery eyes, she looked very alluring. However, her mind was as clear as snow. She tried to persuade Lai Zion, but he only muttered MMM and did not agree, instead taking advantage of her. Hu Mei Er pushed Lai Zion and stood up with a grieved expression. Big brother Lai, give me a definite answer. I have been begging you like this, do you not pity me? Thai, my darling, my little treasure. It is not that your big brother Lai doesn't want to do it, but dealing with the black and white demons will be somewhat tricky. They are two rank four Gu masters, your big brother Lai is a lone force, just one person. Lai Zion spread his arms with a helpless expression. Hu Mei Er snorted. All right, I shall lower the bar. You only need to deal against that little beast king. This Fang Zhang is the most hateful. You can leave that Bai Ning Bing alone for now. This, Lai Zion hesitated. Big brother Lai, Hu Mei Er saw a chance and threw herself into Lai Zion's arms, softly blowing at Lai Zion's fat ear. Lai Zion immediately felt a fire burning near his crotch. His eyes became dazed. Okay, since you are asking like this, Big Brother Lai will help you take revenge. But, he slightly changed the topic. Three kings' inheritance will open again in one or two days. There cannot be any problems at this critical juncture. After the three kings' inheritance, I will go teach that little beast king a lesson all right. The opening of three kings' inheritance was near, and everyone was paying attention to it. Hu Mei Er curled her lips, she did not have much to say about Lai Zion's evasion. After a period of intimacy, Hu Mei Er took her leave. Although Lai Zion tried to make her stay, Hu Mei Er's attitude was firm. In the end, Lai Hao could only send her off. He stood at the cave entrance and impatiently looked at Hu Mei Er's figure gradually getting far and disappearing within the forest. HMPH, this little temptress, Lai Zion returned back to his cave, the lust on his face nowhere to be seen, replaced by a cautious and gloomy expression. Trying to sow discord and use me as a tool to deal with Little Beast King? This little temptress really thinks she had reached greater success in her enchantment path. Ridiculous. The smile on Lai Zion's face was cold. I, of course, have ways to deal with black and white twin demons. But when did I, Lai Zion, ever do unprofitable business? He <laughs> he. This little beast King Fang Zheng is not simple. He seems boorish, but in fact his thoughts are meticulous. Challenging three demonic Gu masters in a row before the opening of three kings' inheritance, this definitely was a premeditated plan. Gu masters came from all over the places and gathered at Sancha Mountain. Why? Wasn't it for the Three Kings' inheritance? Fang Yuan's aggressiveness had not caused him any troubles. These days, only he found trouble for others, why was it? Because everyone were impatiently watching the Three Kings' inheritance, making every effort and secret preparation for it. Who would want to have a bloodbath with Little Beast King, this lunatic, and miss this great opportunity? No one. This Little Beast King used this psychology and acted unrestrainedly establishing his reputation. Two days later, when the Three Kings' inheritance opens, who will want to block his way? Lai Zion shook his head as he predicted the future. Ever since Fang Yuan killed Zhu Sanxi, even he felt some fear towards this little beast king. Before, when Fang Yuan killed tyrant Hang Mei and Fei Lai, it did not attract Lai Zion's attention. However, when Fang Yuan broke his promise and took the chance to kill Sky Tiger, Lai Zion realized what a thorny problem he was. Why so? The Righteous Path categorized talents into four grades. First grade was having both talent and virtue. Having talent and a moral character was the highest quality talent able to hold his own. Second grade was having virtue but no talent. They might have no talent but they had moral character. Those with filial piety will obey their parents. Those with loyalty will obey their leaders. Those with sincerity would not break their promises. They could be used with ease, at least no huge problems will occur. Moreover, many abilities could be learned through experience. Third grade was having talent but no virtue. They might have talent but had no moral conduct. With their talents they could take up a post, 
but higher-ups would not feel at ease using them, afraid they would someday betray them. Fourth grade was having neither talent nor virtue, no talent and nor moral conduct. They were worthless and no one would feel at ease using them. What kind of figure would be the most trouble when categorized under the demonic path? In demonic path, fourth grade was having virtue but no talent. They did not have talent but paid particular attention to virtue, living among their ideals. Often it was themselves that would cause their own destruction. Third grade was having neither talent nor virtue. They might not have talent, but they also did not have any moral conduct. They could at least do some lowly works and earn a living. Second grade was having both talent and virtue. With talent, they could fill their stomachs. However, at the same time, with virtue, filial piety, respect, loyalty, and so on became the ropes that bound them. In demonic path, such a mutually deceptive character decided that such a type of people would not play a key role. And the first grade, having talent but no virtue, Fang Yuan was such a person. He had talent, overflowing with talent actually. His aptitude was outstanding, a great aptitude was not something everyone possessed. Secondly, his battle talent allowed him to overstep realms and fight. Tyrant Hang Mei, Fei Lai and Zhu San Si had cultivation higher than him, but all died a tragic death in his hands. This was enough to prove this point. Finally, he possessed the ability to do business. At Shang Clan City, he did surprisingly well. And in a short period of a few years, he was able to gather such a formidable set of goo worms. If such a talented person had virtue, Lai Zion would not be feeling so difficult. However, Fang Yuan was someone with not even a hint of morality. He left Hu Mei Er in the lurch, not giving a hoot to beauty. He was boorish, unreasonable, easily killed people, and treated life with contempt. He killed tyrant Hang Mei and other two, each time he smashed them into minced meat, his savage and ruthless nature was clear from this. He deceived Zhu San Si and broke his promise in front of everyone, but was still proud of himself. This was even more terrifying. It shows that he did things without any restraint or lower limits, he could betray someone as easily as snapping his fingers with not even a trace of guilt in his heart. Lai Zion was deeply aware, if a person like Little Beast King were to be placed in righteous path, in a peaceful environment, they would definitely be excluded by the people, suppressed, banished, or imprisoned. However, in the chaotic demonic path with its cruel competitive environment, Fang Yuan was like a tiger entering the mountain, a flood dragon entering the sea. As long as his luck was not too bad, he would definitely have great accomplishments. Such a person, if I had discovered him early, I would have suppressed and killed him. However, now it is too late, too late, Lai Zion sighed deeply. Fang Yuan had already matured and he also had a companion beside him. Although Lai Zion had rank 4 upper stage cultivation, he was best at doing business and not at fighting. Naturally, there was always someone stronger. On Sancha Mountain, there were also people that could kill Fang Yuan. They were the four rank four peak stage Gu masters like Kong Rai Tian, Long King Tian and others. However, how could Lai Zion command such formidable characters? Moreover, these four were all in a subtle restraining balance. Not one of them dared to act blindly and all their eyes were set on three kings' inheritance, how could they have the mood to consider other things? HMPH, this little temptress harbors evil intentions. She actually wants to stir me up and fight with such a demonic figure, how is that possible? Not only will I not offend him, but instead I will build a good cooperative relationship with him. All demonic path figures place benefits at the top. However, by killing Zhu San Si, Little Beast King has offended another person. Sky Tiger's godfather who is the rank 4 upper stage Gu Master Century Boy. These days, Century Boy has been refining Gu in seclusion, he will definitely appear when the inheritance opens this time. At that time, he will most likely find trouble for black and white twin demons. Haha, <laughs> I will secretly befriend Little Beast King while staying at the sidelines on the surface. I will watch the battle between Century Boy and Black and White Twin Demons, then after looking at the outcome, 
I will wait for an opportunity to make a move. No matter what the outcome was, Lai Zion would not have much loss. This was Lai Zion, an unscrupulous merchant of the demonic path who was an expert at benefiting from others' expense. Swish, swish, swish. Under Fang Yuan's will, the bright golden primeval essence tide cleansed the aperture walls. Even on Sancha Mountain, he was always cultivating diligently. His actual cultivation was only rank 4 initial stage, it was originally only light gold primeval essence. However, under the effect of Nine Eyes Liquor Worm, the primeval essence's quality rose by a small realm and changed into bright golden primeval essence. Bright golden primeval essence was an enormous assistance to his battles. This was also one of the main reasons for him being able to kill three rank 4 middle stage goo masters in a row. These days, my reputation has raised greatly. There are certainly many, many people who hate and fear me. However, what does that have to do with anything? Hee <laughs> hee, what I am treading on is the demonic path. It should be like this. Moreover, this is not earth. Here, individual strength can be above a group. In different environments, the rules of the game were also different. If it were on Earth, even if one walked demonic path, they would also have to consider moral character. Because on Earth, the difference between individual strengths was small. Demonic paths people also could only gather into a group to be able to accomplish grand ambitions. Two more days, and it will be the day the Three Kings inheritance opens. It is unlikely for someone to come find trouble for me, I will use this time to refine charging crash goo. Fang Yuan had a precise plan and arrangement for his future. Chapter 345, Charging Crash Goo At that time, when Fang Yuan chose horizontal charge and vertical crash goo as his movement goo, he had already considered the situation when he advanced to rank 4. Horizontal charge goo and vertical crash goo were the two main materials to refine charging crash goo. With these two rank 3 goo as the main, together with the goo master's primeval essence and some supplementary materials and so on, to refine charging crash goo. The process of refining charging crash goo was not difficult. Fang Yuan had made sufficient preparations and the success rate of this recipe by itself was rather high. Two days later, Fang Yuan succeeded in refining and obtained a whole new goo charging crash goo. Horizontal charge goo and vertical crash goo could only charge to the distance of a hundred steps together. But charging crash goo fused from these two goo increased, this charging distance to 200 steps. At the same time, the delay between repeated use was also decreased by half. However, the consumption of primeval essence was increased a little. But this small flaw was nothing to Fang Yuan who possessed the Nine Eyes Liquor Worm and Heavenly Essence Treasure Lotus. I already have six rank four goo now, Bitter Strength Goo, Charging Crash Goo, Yang Goo of Yin Yang Rotation Goo, Nine Eyes Liquor Worm, Expend Strength Goo and Blood Skull Goo. All Out Effort Goo, Strength Kai Goo, Golden Shield Goo and others are all rank three. They are slowly failing to keep up with my requirements. Most of the goo on Fang Yuan were rank 3. He was, however, at rank 4 initial stage, now and possessed middle stage bright golden primeval essence, thus these goo worms were gradually becoming unsuitable for him. Naturally, it did not mean that the higher the goo, the better they were. For example, bone flesh unity goo. It was only a rank 3 goo but it could allow many goo masters to use it even at this rank. This made its value stand out. On the whole, however, goo worms and goo masters needed to have a mutually cooperative rank and was best if it were the same for it be more convenient in using them. Fang Yuan made a small consideration. He had a lot of goo worms to upgrade. First of all was the all-out effort goo. The all-out effort goo on him was only at rank 3. It could only activate rank 3 beast phantoms. To advance its rank, he would need to get the undefeated 100 battles goo from 3 kings inheritance, so this plan could only be put aside for now. Strength Kai Gu was also at rank 3, but Fang Yuan did not have its corresponding recipe, so he was unable to advance it. 
Fang Yuan planned to advance rank 3 Golden Shield Gu into rank 4 Golden Bell Shield Gu. The storage type rank 3 Tusita Flower could be upgraded to rank 4 Tusita Lantern Gu. Self-Reliance Gu was also a rank 3 Gu, but it was already at its peak stage and did not have relevant recipe for its advancement. But although it was a rank 3 Gu, as long as Fang Yuan displayed formidable strength, its healing effects could match with rank 4 healing Gu. Similar to Self-Reliance Gu was Bone Flesh Unity Gu. Breath Concealment Gu that was used to hide cultivation was also at rank 3. Although it could be advanced, Fang Yuan decided lay it aside. At the present time, he did not need to hide his aura. And Heaven Essence Treasure Lotus was also at rank 3. Fang Yuan already possessed the fusion recipe for rank 4 Heaven Essence Treasure Monarch Lotus. But he needed to obtain a number of spirit springs to refine it. This was a large project and could only be put aside for now. Calculating like this, Fang Yuan needed to advance all-out effort Gu, Golden Shield Gu, Tosita Flower, and Heavenly Essence Treasure Lotus, these four Gu. However, it was not just like that. Fang Yuan had used Iron Bone Gu, Steel Tendon Gu, and Copper Skin Gu to transform his body. These Gu were all Rank 3 Gu. The defense they provided during fights between Rank 4 Gu Masters were little. There were also the eight phantoms in Fang Yuan's body, none of them were from rank 4 strength Gu. Thus, Fang Yuan also needed replace these phantoms. The eight phantoms I have are from ordinary beasts, only by replacing them with bio strength phantom, mastiff strength phantom and so on, can I display the strongest fighting strength in rank 4 realm. Fang Yuan had been interested in the bio strength Gu of Zhu Sanxi. However, he had turned Zhu Sanxi into minced meat and the goo worms on her body were also destroyed. Fang Yuan's methods were too brutal. He frequently smashed his enemies into meat paste. Although this was also a constant characteristic of strength path goo masters, this method was too violent and there would seldom be any surviving goo worms once the battle ended. Fang Yuan had won against three rank four demonic goo masters in a row, but only obtained an expend strength goo. And this expend strength goo was also surrendered and contributed by Fei Lai of his own accord. The way goo masters obtained goo worms was basically from trading, raising, capturing, fusing, or reverse refining. Goo masters rarely obtained goo worms as their victory spoils. On one hand, it was because Goo Masters used secretive and dangerous methods. In case a battle started, both sides would use all their strength to attack and would not spare anything for their safety. Like this, the Goo Worms would also be wrecked and destroyed. On another hand, it was extremely easy for the Goo Masters to destroy their own Goo Worms. It only required a thought from them and their Goo Worms would self-destruct. I have a lot to do to advance all of them, Fang Yuan sighed and walked out of the cave. Binding Bing was already waiting for him at the cave entrance and was gazing at the peak. Fang Yuan followed her gaze and also looked up. He only saw enormous light pillars rise from the three highest peaks of Sancha Mountain, piercing through clouds and soaring towards the sky. Its enormous aura felt like it was supporting heaven and earth. The three kings' inheritance had opened. With this inheritance, my set of strength path Gu will be taken to perfection. Fang Yuan's gaze was burning, but he restrained it. Although he had outstanding battle prowess, it was still not his turn to take the stage. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Four figures separately charged out from east, south, north, and west. They stopped in mid-air and confronted each other. Rank 4 peak stage aura were let out without any concealment. From the eastern direction was Poison Path, Gu Master Long King Tian. He had long black hair, pale green skin, and his green pupils faintly flashed like there were two cold fires burning in it. From the western direction was Righteous Path, Wu Clan's elder Wu Shen Tong. His fame was powerful and domineering, but his body was thin like a sickly scholar. He had pale complexion and coughed from time to time as if he could not endure this mountain wind. From the southern direction was the demonic path expert Kong Rai Tian. He was wearing flower-patterned gown. 
he had a smile on while standing in the air, pink butterflies fluttering around him. From the northern direction was Yi Clan's elder Yi Chong. His whole body was covered with blue fish scales which formed into a thin armor. His nose was long and protruding out, his eyes were larger than twice that of a normal person's, and he had a head full of blazing unkempt hair. The muscles in his whole body tangled forming layers of lumps. His stature was short but his physique was extremely imposing. An enormous triangular fin grew out from his back like the black fin on a shark's back. These four were currently the strongest goo masters at San Cha Mountain. Rank 4 peak stage cultivation was only a step away from rank 5. If they advanced to rank 5, they would be the monarchs of the mortal world and wield power over a region, their might and aura would spread everywhere. These four had already confronted each other for months on Sancha Mountain. They had also fought many times with each other over this period of time, but no one could do anything to other, forming a chaotic situation. Righteous paths Wu Shen Tong and Yi Chong appeared to be allies, but inwardly they were not of one mind. While Kong Rai Tian and Long King Tian would also occasionally collaborate if the situation turned bad. These four occupied the top caves and were closest to the inheritance entrances at San Cha Mountain. The appearance of these four attracted the gazes of all the Gu masters on the mountain. The inheritance was right before their eyes. No matter who it was, they were all restraining the desire to make a move. After the short stalemate, Kong Rai Tian chose King Bao's inheritance, Long King Chen chose King Xin's inheritance, and Wu Shen Tong chose King Quan's inheritance. The three inheritances did not correspond with each other, but there were four rank four peak stage Gu Masters. The Gu Master remaining, Yi Chong, hesitated for a while before finally choosing King Bao's inheritance. With this, King Bao's inheritance has Kong Rai Tian and Yi Chong, two experts. Long King Tian chose King Xin's inheritance this time, we fell in his trap last time, we must avoid him. Wu Shen Tong is an enslavement path Gu Master, reportedly he has already advanced to middle stage of King Quan's inheritance. In this inheritance, he is like a fish in water and can display extraordinary strength. If we choose King Quan's inheritance, we might only get his leftovers. While the crowd was discussing, a group of Gu Masters ascended to the peak. They were rank four upper stage Gu Masters. Some had bizarre appearances, some were fiendish, some had dignified appearance, and some were gloomy like forest. Among them, one was a boy wearing black clothes. Before he entered the inheritance, he looked down and gazed deeply at Fang Yuan. HMPH, Century Boy, Fang Yuan narrowed his eyes and let out a dangerous aura. Century Boy was also a strength path Gu Master and was the godfather of Zhu Sanxi, her patron. Fang Yuan killed Zhu Sanxi and offended Century Boy. However, with the Three Kings' inheritance in sight, Century Boy did not have the mind and heart to settle the account with Fang Yuan now. But once the inheritance closed, he was sure to make his moves against Fang Yuan. Fang Yuan had not the least bit of fear towards this and was instead secretly looking forward to it. With his current strength, he was almost unrivaled among rank four initial stage Gu Masters and could also prevail over ordinary middle stage Gu Masters. However, he would be evenly matched against rank four upper stage. Above that, rank 4 peak stage would be a difficult opponent. However, if those rank 4 Gu masters like Kong Rai Tian and others wanted to kill Fong Yuan, they would also pay a disastrous price. As the Gu masters' cultivation reached the later stages, the difference in each small realm was big, and it would get more difficult to cross these ranks to battle, let alone cross realms to battle. Fang Yuan possessed plentiful battle experience and also had a set of excellent strength path Gu Worms, but he was also only able to cross one realm and kill middle stage Gu Masters. Of course, if I replace my Gu Worms to rank 4 then I will have the strength to win against upper stage Gu Masters and even be evenly matched against rank 4 peak stage. Three Kings Inheritance, here I come. At once, Fang Yuan activated Charging Crash Goo and charged towards the peak. 
rank four upper stage Gu masters had all entered the inheritances. The light pillars of the three inheritances were already a lot dimmer. A group of rank four middle stage Gu masters were just ascending up Sancha Mountain when they suddenly saw Fang Yuan and Bai Ning Bing charge towards them. All of their complexions changed and by some tacit agreement got out of the way. Fang Yuan and Bai Ning Bing entered King Quan's inheritance together.